strong, brave, fast, competitive, and fit. All things that describe an athlete, right? But when you guys think of an athlete, who comes to mind first? Would it be Lisa Leslie, Kobe O'Brien, or I don't know, some professional dancer? Um, well, a lot of you guys probably would never think of an athlete like John Weston. John Weston is one of the first ever professional um, roller derby athletes. And she grew up in the, during her time, she began in the 1950s, which made it that much more difficult for an athlete, especially if you're a woman. in the year 1935, but it didn't become popular until about 1967, which is a little bit after Joanne Weston actually began playing the sport. Um, when roller derby began, it wasn't it wasn't exactly thought of as very like honorable sport to be a part of, because if anybody's ever seen like any of the movies that have roller derby, like, like Whip It, <laughs> they've seen that, it, it doesn't exactly look like something where you're like, man, those girls look like elegant when they play. Like you, they look really pretty, but they are beating each other up on their little rink, um, which which d didn't really fly well during that time because in the 1950s, a woman is supposed to be like a beautiful little housewife and have kids and cook and clean. But as rough of, as rough of a sport as it was, it was a cool sport to be part of. <coughs> And like I said, it it all it gained yeah. It gained, <laughs> <laughs> it gained its popularity again today because of movies like Whip It. And because of movies like Whip It, also we started to like really think about female sports a little bit more. And um, it was like I said again, it was a, it's a really intense sport and you get bruised up, you get beaten up, and it's not exactly friendly contact sport, but um, next slide. But that didn't really matter because um, Joanne Weston, um, she she's actually really close to home for all of us because she actually, believe it or not, grew up around here. Um, she was born in Huntington Beach and she grew up near Downing. And um, she went to Mount St. Mary's College, which a lot of us girls probably know about because it's not for <laughs> uh, no, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Um, she went there and she went to private schools growing up and she played sports and like most athletes you always hear about a lot of athletic people like oh well she was awesome at soccer and volleyball basketball everything but she was just a little bit better at roller derby which was the case for her she played she actually played softball um, going through college and then when she was still in her teens but she was in her earlier years of college she heard about a trial for a roller derby team in Los Angeles it's called the Los Angeles Braves I believe and um, she was like I'm gonna give it a shot see what it's like and she tried out and she actually made the team and that was the first team that she played on and then a little while later she got transferred to San Francisco and she played for the Bay Bombers and um, one thing that I really liked about um, John Weston when I was reading about her in all of her different sites, like for example, um, I'm so sorry. Oh, in her tribute site, um, it's it's basically called the Derby Memorial's Tribute to Roller Derby History, Memorial and John Weston. Um, it was talking about how when she was an athlete growing up, um, like on all of her roller derby teams, like. You know how a lot nowadays you're in a sport and a lot of times like you'll be like, oh man, like I'm so nervous and I don't know who to talk to and then someone will take you under their wing and really leave you in the wrong, wrong direction because they don't need to take their spot. Well, she wasn't like that. She would honestly like help out new athletes and show them like the ropes of the sport and I thought that was really cool about her. Okay. And, um, when when she, don't look at this when she <laughs> Cover your eyes. when she was um, doing roller derby, um, she actually retired um, 
in her 40s, which is when it started to get a little less popular, which actually worked out better for her, um, because um, she started to get older, she started to like fade out of the sport, and then um, she died in her 60s because she had a really rare disease. I honestly cannot tell you the name of the disease. I, I saw it, but it was really hard to pronounce. Um, and it basically deteriorates you. Um, but on a side note, um, she, because she started playing in the 1950s and she was in a time when it wasn't popular for women to do sports, she had a, in my opinion, she had a role in segregation and feminism. Because during that time, um, like I said, girls, you were thought of as like, you were wearing a dress all the time, like you didn't get dirty, you cleaned the house. Um, and things like sports helped us show how brave and strong we could be. <laughs> so sports did help women in that aspect, even though it didn't really gain full equalness. And in conclusion, she was a strong, <laughs> She was a strong woman, um, and Drown Weston was um, a good figure in roller derby. Um, and now you know a little bit about roller derby, her role in it, and a little bit about how she had a role in feminism. And thank you all. <laughs>